Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing how to import and animate sprite sheets. So first off, make sure that you have your sprite sheet of choice selected. You need to count the vertical and the horizontal amount of frames. So as you can see here, I have one, two, three vertical frames and one, two, three, 24. So I have three by 24. Now, if you remember that, you can import your file. It should be a PNG from wherever you got your sprites from, if you made them or if you downloaded it. So now you want to create a new 2D scene. You can title it character or anything you want. Character, okay. And you're going to want to make this a sprite node, a sprite 2D. Okay. And then you import your file into here. And you will notice first off that it is blurry. Uh, the pixels aren't quite pixely. They're very blurred in. So you go to texture and you go to filter, you press nearest and you will see that that blur uh, gets removed. So remember when we counted the vertical and horizontal frames? Well, that's where this comes in. You press animation, and you remember we have three vertical frames and 24 horizontal. This will probably be different for your sprite sheet, but this is the value of mine. So now you can see we only get one sprite. And if you go through the frames, you can see that we have all of the sprites and the sprite coordinates will move up and down this, this graph that you have made. So now to make animations, we need to add a new node called animation player. And we can call this player animation or anything you want. And in here, we will be selecting the sprites for every direction we're moving and our idle. So, Let's say we want to walk right. So we add a new animation. We can title it walk right. And we add a new track. We add a property track. We select our character. Okay. And we need to select the frame. Okay. And now we go back to our character. We find where the walking right cycle starts we can see it starts down here so we just need to locate where that is by pressing up on the y and as you can see now we're on here we right click and press insert key i'm going to want to do this for every frame in the uh walk right cycle so just tick up on the x or wherever your animation leads and do this for every frame up until you have the sixth one. So now that you have the sixth one, you want to check if they are all lined up properly. They should be going at every 0.1 seconds. That is the closest you can have them. And you could change the speed of them later. So once it goes up to 0.5, you want to set this to 0.5. Now, since this is a walking cycle, you want to do it multiple times as you're walking. So you want to press this looping, so that way it will play in a loop. And if you press play, you could see that now your character is running right. And now I will quickly show another example of how to do a forward facing idle animation. So animation, forward idle. And it's the exact same thing. We just add a property track, character, frame. We select the layer that it's on so it's on this layer and it looks like it's at the end here so we will go here okay insert key and for every 0.1 second we will add a new key and we will set to 0.5 and then there after you loop it is your front-facing idle animation 
Now, if you want to change the speed of this animation, if it's going too fast or too slow for you, go to your player animation, go to speed scale, and here you could set the speed of your animation. So if we type in 0.5, it will go half the speed. And this will, this will affect all the animations. So just make sure that you, when you're either making your sprites or finding your sprites, make sure that they all have a consistent frame count. So that way you have consistent speeds or varying speeds based on your frame count. One quick tip on how to make one animation longer than the other is you could double your frames. So for instance, you have two, two of the first frame and two of every frame. And that way you have one animation that's longer than the other. Now I will quickly just show how to call this animation from script. I will not be showing any particular uh, use cases. I will only be showing how to call one of the animations. And it, it's very straightforward. You just type in, you know, your, 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 your dollar sign and you have the file path. So player animation. Okay. And you do dot play and you select your animation that you want to play. And this will run on the start. So now if we press play, you can see that we automatically have the forward idle animation. All right, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. If you have any suggestions about future or current videos, please feel free to comment those as well. Otherwise, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.